exciting times. I think uh, first time ever that Sevens is part of the Olympics, and I think it's um, it's going to do a lot for for the profile of Sevens, not just in South Africa, but but all over the world. So um, yeah, very excited, but also a little bit nervous about uh, the expectations that's um, that's uh, that's around South Africa for us to do well in the Olympics. But um, yeah, nice challenge, and I think something that we look forward to. Yeah, no, definitely a, d- a difficult task to select only 12 players from the, from the 23 players that we used through the season, and I think. Uh, you can actually select any 12 or 23 and it's all, it will still be a good team that will be really competitive at the Olympics. So uh, I think definitely a few guys that can be unfortunate not to be in, in, included in that squad and, and um, right, rightfully so disappointed uh, for not, not being included. So, uh, But um, yeah, happy with the 12 guys that we selected, the 14, uh, the two guys that will stay outside the village. But uh, I know there's one or two unfortunate guys that didn't make it that, that, um, that could have easily been in that squad as well. Oh, not, not just the Kevin Kala Cray week, all the youth weeks. So uh, even the, the, on the 16 week is really important for us where we actually scout the guys for the first time and then keep track of them over the next two years until they get to the train week. So um, really important for us. I think it's a breeding ground for a lot of uh, not just Springbok 7s players but Springbok 15s players as well. And uh, yeah, important for us to, to scout these guys um, at this level already and to uh, to look at the attributes that we think will make them good 7s players. Obviously difficult to proceed with inside the 15s games but there, there is some, some attributes that you can scout um, from 15s games. So um, important for us to, to be able to do that.